What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top 10 personal favorite farmhouse DIYs of 2020. Those are just my personal favorite. I feel like there were so many DIYs that were so awesome and amazing throughout the year. However, these are the ones I'm going to share with you. All the stuff that you guys are seeing above plus more. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. I would love to keep you here forever and ever. So if you haven't already and before the year is over, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Listen, before we get into the video, I do want to let you guys know that it was sponsored by the Sutera Dream Pillow and I actually already showed this to you guys. It's been probably like a month or two since I got this. It is the Dream Pillow. I have mentioned to you guys that I have all sorts of like back issues and bone issues and the Sutera Dream Pillow has definitely been super helpful to help me get a restful night's sleep. Like I mentioned, I have been using this orthopedic contour pillow for about two months. It does have cooling memory foam, which is perfect for those sweaty sleepers. I do tend to sweat a little bit at night, but I love how it just contours your body. It does help with your like cervical alignment. And then one of my favorite things also is that you can take off the cover. If you're someone like me and sometimes forget to take their makeup off when you fall asleep or you do sweat or whatever, it's nice that you can remove this, put it in the wash, put it in the dryer, and you can pop it back on. Also, I do actually like keeping an additional pillowcase on it just to protect it a little bit more. Since I've been using it, I have noticed a significant reduction in the pressure that I feel in my back and especially my hips. And I also don't feel my neck strain as much as I did before. It doesn't matter what kind of sleeping position you prefer. This is perfect for all of them. You can sleep on your back, on your side, or on your stomach. I'm not much of a stomach sleeper or a back sleeper. I always revert back to my side sleeping position, but you guys can see how your arms kind of fit on there and it contours to your neck and your back. I definitely recommend this pillow if you do have certain issues that, you know, keep you up at night. My husband did actually try this out and he loved it, but I had to yank it back to my side of the bed. So that's just a little bit about the Sutera Dream Pillow, you guys. It has definitely helped me out a lot since I am an insomniac and I'm sort of a night owl, so I don't get restful sleep very often. This definitely helps. If you guys are interested, make sure you guys follow the link below to get 20% off your order and that's it. Let's get on to the DIYs. <laughs> All right, you guys, so for the very first DIY, I'm gonna show you guys how to make these really cute galvanized wired candle holders. So you guys can see here, it looks a little complicated, but it's not gonna be too bad. So to make two of them, you're gonna use one of these waste baskets from Dollar Tree, and I'm just showing you guys how I'm gonna cut the top rim and then also the bottom. All right, so once those were off, I went ahead and cut the the basket in half and then folded that piece in half lengthwise like the longest part so fold it crease it and then take the wire cutters and just cut it again so for the top of the candle holders i will be using some wooden blocks from dollar tree from dollar tree i don't know why I, my words come out lazy sometimes uh, sometimes uh, you know just cut your wooden blocks dollar tree because of lazy i don't know what i'm saying you guys Okay, so once the wooden blocks are all glued together, it makes it a lot easier to form your um, wired piece on here. So as you guys can see, I just kind of went about halfway on one end, and then I went all the way around it. As I got to the corner, I just went ahead and creased it the best that I could. That way it sits um, nice and firm. Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying, but you guys can see what I'm doing. So I hope that makes sense I try to crease it nice and tightly and once I get all the way to the other side I'm just gonna cut the excess piece and glue it together You guys can you know figure out however you want to cover up the glue uh, When you do glue this down I'm just gonna be using some twine to cover both the sides and then the top part I 
taking one of these candle holders you guys can use whatever type of candle holders you want depending on the look you want to go for and then also these little dishes you can find in the wedding section from Dollar Tree just glue them together I am gonna spray paint them with a metallic silver spray paint I don't know why I didn't show you guys that part um I don't know why anyway I did mix some black and white acrylic paint to make a nice little gray and then it's actually like a darker gray and just taking a paper towel a piece of tissue or whatever type of thing you want to use just tap it on there to give it that galvanized look FYI, I would definitely not use real candles for these. If you're going to turn them on, make sure you use LED candles because of the twine obviously at the top. I just used it for looks and for the video. I've been through changes all of my life started from zero with nothing behind feel so right this feels so right this world gets easier with a reason and rhyme and it feels so right yeah i've been through changes Alrighty, for this next one, I took inspiration from Pinterest only to a smaller scale. So I did see this $2,500 green frame, which I'm assuming it's because it's ginormous and it's meant for like, you know, real plants. The lights are meant for the real plants. Anyways, you guys can see the dimensions on here. I'm making it a lot smaller using some paint sticks. These are the um, bigger paint sticks from like I don't know, Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot or, or wherever you can buy these. <laughs> I am going to be cutting the end on a couple of them. And, you know, sometimes you can just use your hand tools. You don't have to bust out your electric saws or your table saws, or your hand saws. Or, I mean, I guess this is kind of like a hand saw. Anyway, chop that right off and you guys will have your ends for the bottom and the top pieces, I'm just going to leave the sticks just how they are. I really don't care that they have the weird end, you know. Um, so yeah, just glue those together and everything else is literally super self-explanatory, you guys. I will let you guys just watch and enjoy. If you do have questions, you guys know where to leave them in the comments down below.
All right, so for the stands, I hope you guys recognize those as the Dollar Tree wooden blocks, the round circle, the round wooden circle is also from Dollar Tree. Um, these little fairy lights also from Dollar Tree. As you guys can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue, glue it to the bottom of one of these circles for easy access on the switch. And then I will be gluing the wire to the sides, the inner sides of the um, stand, I guess the inside and then the top. When you glue these down, please make sure you don't glue the lights, okay? Make sure you stick to the wire and you're just gonna have to kind of hold it on there for a few seconds until it's nice and tacky and then it dries. And then to decorate it, you guys can use any type of candle holder, planter, and greenery that you guys decide. I just chose I just chose to go with the Dollar Tree tin um, planters and then some Dollar Tree greenery. Oh my gosh, you guys, mira, mi tree, mi little arbol, my faux tree that I made with branches from my yard, literally branches from my yard. You guys, I just took one of these buckets from Dollar Tree and then some of this laundry line from Walmart, just glued it right around the bucket just to give it, you know, a little extra look and less like a just a bucket and more like a planter. <laughs> so yeah, once that is all done... I did it take one of these, um, what are they called, like coconut liners? I think I had a hard time figuring out what these were the first time around, but yeah, I think they're coconut liners. I did just cut a circle at the very bottom so I can stick my biggest branch right through it. I also did take a bunch of dirt and like little rocks and stuff from my yard. See? Dead, dead, 
branch, um, I mean, it's going to stay dead. You don't really have to water it because it's already dead. Um, yeah, stick it right through there. And literally, I'm just going to freaking, I'm sorry, I said freaking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and add um, like some more rocks to the top just to make it heavy and that liner doesn't come up, I guess. I don't know. I actually really don't know why I put those rocks in there. And then I did also fill it with some moss, both the Spanish moss and like the green moss. <laughs> uh, what else am I doing here? I'm going to be adding some greenery stems. I believe these are from Walmart. Usually the Walmart stems are like 97 cents. So they're a lot cheaper than Dollar Tree. Not a lot, just three cents cheaper. And then just taking some floral tape, also just adding them right around there and then adding some, um, fairy lights as well. All right, so on to this next DIY that looks super complicated, but really it is so, so simple. Here's what the finished product should look like, but I guess I will show you guys step by step. After all, this is a DIY channel. So taking those same wooden blocks from Dollar Tree, I will show you guys how I'm gonna make this. Um, also, these little bamboo sticks will be linked down below. I love these. I will also be using these in another DIY in this video. So yeah. We'll be using those in the wooden blocks. And then I also have these clear ornaments from Dollar Tree. Um, I just had these in my stockpile. Hopefully you guys have some leftover from Christmas if you found them. And also some more string lights. I always stock up on these when I see them at Dollar Tree because, you know, I use them quite a bit. Some of these golden hooks, I will end up painting them black. And then um, hurry up, Araceli. Oh, yeah. Also two of these wooden plaque thingies from uh, Dollar Tree and some curtain rod hook thingies that I already had in my stockpile as well. To hang these, I will be using some chains from, guess where? Yes, Dollar Tree. So I think I only ended up using one. It has like three strands on it. Or no, I used two because it has three strands. So I used two on each or something like that. I guess we'll find out <laughs> towards the end of the DIY. So I have my two pieces, my top and bottom. So I'm going to be using six pieces that go vertically like this. So on each corner, on both sides, and then two on the sides. And these are six and a quarter inches long. And then I have two that go crisscross on either side. So not like four sides, but just two sides. These are eight inches long. And then we have the top piece. This is where you're going to put your chains. This one is about five and a half inches long. So... I'm going to go ahead and cut those and then start gluing them.
On this part, I would recommend if you have like a small screw to definitely screw those in there um, so that it doesn't unglue or just use your E6000 glue. I didn't know where I wanted to put the um, battery pack on here so it's not too bulky so I did actually end up putting it to the back of the plaque and to hang this I did glue three um, Jenga blocks or the wooden blocks from Dollar Tree with um, what is this called? I always say hot glue so much with some crazy glue to make it nice and sturdy and you guys can kind of see how I glue two pieces up or like two pieces on the top and then one on the side and that hangs on either the screw or the nail or the thumbtack that you want to hang this on to the wall. Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some this DIY was definitely one of my favorites and inspired by these ceramic vases that I found online obviously more expensive and I just kind of made them my own way it was my very first time using plaster of Paris which was kind of tricky but fun so you just mix the plaster of Paris like you know however many parts to the water as it says in the directions it does dry fairly quickly so you got to be quick you guys can see the consistency of this is like frothy and I kind of compared it to like a, a Wendy's frosty or something like that so just using a large stirring stick I don't know whether it's a craft stick or whatever you guys want to use I did end up using um, the jumbo craft stick to start like spreading it on to one of my Dollar Tree vases and I let I let it dry before I went on to my second coat and again it does start drying fairly quickly so you you actually do have to be um, faster with you know like your method of putting this on there. You guys can see it starts getting nice and chunky. As it dries, I just ended up using my hand, obviously with a glove on so you don't have that stuff all over your hands. It's probably going to irritate it if you do use your bare skin. Um, yeah, I just went at it um, with a stick, then I went at it with my hand, and then at the end when it did dry, I did sand it down a little bit, and then I painted it and just added my accessories, and you know, you guys can use your imagination. gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. and I still wonder where you are and if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. the stories I've been told they never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. and this road that I am Gotta stay here for some time
All right, on this next one, I did make this for my outdoor um, decor for like my porch and my patio. I used one of these Dollar Tree signs. Honestly, you don't even have to bother with the sign that's at the bottom. Um, if you're going to leave it the same color or if you guys get a different one, you guys can, you know, um, color it or paint it however you want. So these paint stir sticks or stir paint, paint stir sticks. Yes, I got these on Amazon when we had the shutdown. Nobody could go shopping. I didn't feel safe. So I just ordered stuff on Amazon and I still have a bunch of these left from back then. Um, I highly would recommend these. Definitely check out the links that I have down below. By the way, the links that I have below are categorized by like glues, wood stuff, tools, etc, etc, etc. So it should be easy for you guys to find the stuff that I direct you to, like these stir sticks. This part I felt like if I went a little bit lower it was just gonna look like a picket fence or something like that and if you do want to go that way it covers those little um, edges or like the you know those little parts on the sticks that are not even I didn't go that way I just went all the way to the top and just painted it with my paint from Lowe's you guys Holtz recommend you guys hitting up those sections in Lowe's and Home Depot where they have like all the oops paints, like paints that people returned that they didn't like or sample paints that people didn't end up buying. It's so much cheaper to go that way and honestly using the, the regular paint rather than acrylic paint just makes your stuff look so much more high end and nicer. It just has a nicer quality. So these handles are from Dollar Tree Baskets and I did put some eye hook um, hooks <laughs> into the sides and then I just attached the handles to them. So we're about halfway through the video. If you've made it this far, thank you guys so much. I feel the love. So while you're here, why don't you guys tell me what your favorite gift was that you got for Christmas? And if you don't celebrate Christmas, it's okay. Why don't you guys let me know what you guys have planned for the start of the new year in the comments down below. This next planter was actually part of the same video for this lantern basket looking thing. So I took two of these um, planters from Dollar Tree and then also some stir sticks and also some of that new newer rope from Dollar Tree. I took three strands and I just braided it. Uh, yeah, basically just take the little handles off. I'm going to glue the paint sticks to the bottom to make it like a stand, glue everything together, use my paint and add some greenery. Super simple, you guys.
slowing down to get their sleep. They've had enough bringing life to others. But I still don't know what else to seek. But your smile in the morning hours. All right, so I think I have an obsession with making plants and trees out of just stuff. Um, obviously, because these plants are super expensive, no way in heck, I'm going to spend $141 on a plant, even though obviously it's a lot bigger and nicer, <laughs> but it's okay. We're going to go this way. So I also saw this planter um, online, and you know, we're just going to make it on a smaller scale. I did end up ordering these from Amazon. I will definitely link these down below. I think they're a really good size, and for the price, um, you do get three different sizes like two of these are the same leaf and then the other one you guys can see it's a little bit different actually no it was four I'm sorry four of them I am sure you guys are all sorts of confused but so am I so we can be confused together if you are confused let me know in the comments down below um <laughs> anyways those leaves will be linked um in the description and I did take one of those bigger bowls from Dollar Tree and then also some nautical rope just took some strands and braided them and I'm going to go ahead and glue those to the candle holder or the bowl and then I will also be using some more branches from out my yard and attaching the leaves to those branches with some floral tape. I know I already jumped ahead but just letting you guys know what you should expect. All right, so this beautiful galvanized toolbox that literally does not look like it's made out of what it's made out of was inspired by this Kelsey toolbox I found online. Now to make this you might have to have a little bit of patience but it's honestly not too bad. So here are the dimensions of the pieces that I'm using. So two of these pieces with that dimension and then two of these pieces with that dimension and I will show you guys sort of how I measure it out here in a second. Um, I'm also using a dowel from Walmart I believe. Some Oh there's my phone dinging at me. Um, some twine from Walmart and just some like faux half beads. Mark seven inches and then at the halfway mark three and a half inches I'm going to draw a line that's nine inches tall. 
At the seven inch mark, I'm gonna take my side, so the other pieces of the foam board that I had shown you before, and I'm gonna mark that very top corner, and that's where the sides are gonna meet. At the very top here, I'm gonna center a two inch line. After that, I'm just gonna connect the two corners together, and that's gonna be my shape for the side of the box. And then just so I have a really smooth line, I'm gonna still be using my ruler when I use my X-Acto knife to cut it out. All right, now that they're all cut out, I'm gonna just start gluing the sides together. Am I the only one lost in translation? Where nothing makes sense anymore. So this part I'm just painting with some regular black acrylic paint. After it's all painted black, I will be taking two different um, silver colors. I don't remember exactly what colors they were, but any type of silver should work. And again, I do like using the method of using either a tissue or a paper towel to do that. And by that, I mean to do like the painting, the tapping, the, you know, texture look. <laughs> Uh, especially works nicely for this galvanized look. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. The moon is bright, let's have some fun. Sick in the morning, baby, don't leave. They don't need to know we're out here, wild and free. They say we're crazy, it's too much. All right, so last but not least, you guys, I love this DIY. So I got this embroidery hoop or whatever this thing is called from Goodwill. Um, you guys saw the price tag there, and then I'm also going to be using those same bamboo sticks I used for the other uh, little chandelier candle, not candle, sconces? Is it a scones? I always call them scones. <laughs> Um, anyways, those are linked down below. So I just went ahead and took that piece off of the hoop and I just took off like the nails and staples and all that. Use some um, crazy glue to glue that together. You do have to hold it and maybe clamp it to make sure that it dries. It does dry super quick so you don't have to wait too long. 
So again, it may look complicated like those other ones that I made earlier, but it really is not. So I just took the bamboo sticks and I started gluing them sort of evenly. So I did one on one side and then one directly across it. And then you guys will see how I kind of do that method to where I try to make them as even as possible. So once those two are put on, I do the other one going across on the other end. So right here and then one right across from that one. To put the other ones down, you guys will see that I tried to measure out, but it's never going to be perfect. I usually just eyeball stuff, and usually it comes out pretty nicely. But if you guys feel more comfortable with measuring it out, you guys can do that also. So before I go on to the other bamboo sticks, I am going to put the other hoop on top, um, you know, just to kind of try to make it look as even as possible. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other ones. Once the the top ring is glued on there, I'm going to start gluing the other ones the same way. So one right in the center of where I glued the first two, <laughs> one in the center and then one right across that one. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking I don't wanna go. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking I don't wanna. you down but I know that I was not always around I made you feel feel alone you spent most of your nights just sitting on your own I should have done so much more like giving you the things you asked me for and I know I was wrong what I try to tell you with my son, tell you with my son. What if I said I'm sorry? What if I'd make a scene? Wouldn't that make you mine again? You All right, so to that. hang it, I will be using another one of the um, Dollar Tree planter chains. And I am going to be taking a couple of links off of that one because that's what's going to go into the ceiling. And so now I'm just going to kind of measure out on the tops. Um, if you guys can see, what is it, like maybe half an inch or so. And I'm going to make a um, hole with my drill. And I'm going to put the little links right through Did there. I make you laugh. Did not make you smile Did not make you feel like you were happy for a while I know that I've done so many things that let you down But I hope that you give me one more chance Before I put the chain on there, I am going to paint that I am going to paint it though and you guys saw I mixed some brown, some deep brown from Dollar Tree, um, some pewter gray and some black like chalk paint. You can use regular black acrylic paint just to make like a deep brown color. Um, you know I almost want to change the color now that I've had it for so long. I kind of want to lighten it up but this is the way that I went into it and I used the paint sort of like a stain. Um, I did use baby wipes. Baby wipes work amazing when you want to do a stain look on wood. You guys could totally um, paint everything beforehand but then you have to wait for it to dry that way the glue adheres and I just don't like waiting around so you know I just did it all the way after and if you guys want you can find a way to cover the inside part where all the like the bamboo sticks are glued and everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. You guys will see how I hang it. Again if you do have questions make sure you guys leave them in the comments down below. Close my eyes that you're the only thing I see And it makes, makes me cry To think that you are no longer with me And 
essence, this, this is the last DIY, and I didn't do my regular intro or outro. I'm going to bid you adieu. Say my goodbyes. Adios, amigos. All right, you guys. It's uh, late. You guys already know I get super extra when it's late. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this video. But before I go, I want to thank you guys so much for being here and watching and sticking around. And honestly, I love you guys so, so much. I hope to see you guys before the new year, or I hope you guys see me before the new year. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, and leave me your comments down below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! But I hope that you give me one more chance to make you mine Oh, 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 oh What if I said I'm sorry? What if I said I'm sorry? Oh, 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 oh What if I said I'm sorry? What if I said I'm sorry? What if I said I'm sorry?